Lindsay, thank you for talking with me about your own experience growing in the presence and power of the Spirit. And as I have talked with you, I've realized that your experience, or really experiences, is in contrast to some of these other testimonies in that a lot of folks have had a kind of before and after description of their experience with the presence of the Spirit, and you've described yourself more in terms of inch by inch and acknowledging by faith in some circumstance, oh, that was the Holy Spirit. And I just wonder if you could tell us something about that. Well, I think um, I've always had a relationship with Jesus and have realized over the years how the Spirit is with me and is prompting me. Um, It's a little hard to separate what's Jesus and what's the spirit, but I guess, yeah, no need need to, Um, but some things I can remember just uh, over the years, maybe back in when I was a teenager, just enjoying Christian radio. And this isn't the Hmm. K love that we have today. This is hymns and sermons and rather dry material, but just enjoying that material on the radio and thinking Hmm. uh, maybe that didn't make a lot of sense, except that it was the spirit prompting me to want the things of God. Interesting. So you identified that in yourself as a teenager? Yes. Okay. And then um, in, in college, just enjoying the chapel services that I had at Wheaton and wanting to go to them. And many people would want to skip them. You were only allowed to skip nine per semester, I think. But I went to pretty much every one because I was hungry to learn and, and hungry to worship. Okay. And um, Also, I think in high school or college was when I felt that the spirit started talking to me more like he would maybe give me a Bible verse to share with someone. Or um, I remember once I was just praying for someone and I didn't really know why. And I told them later, Hey, I was praying for you at this time. And I wasn't really sure why. And she said, Oh, I was in the middle of the hardest college exam that I've ever took. And um, wow. So things like that, realizing that God was prompting me to pray for people and learning to uh, go ahead and pray for people when someone came into my mind or even an idea that I didn't understand, Mm -hmm. assuming that it was from the Holy Spirit and and taking those words to pray for one of my Christian brothers or sisters or for someone who didn't yet know the Lord. So each of those times where it was not like God wrote in the sky, it was more, uh, it was a smaller whispering kind of thing that you had to acknowledge by faith. Yes, either that or uh, perhaps I would dream about someone I hadn't thought of in a long time. And um, maybe the dream wouldn't mean anything, but I learned that if I thought of someone or dreamed about someone, it meant that I was supposed to pray for them. Okay. Uh, You have actually spoken to me about how this shows up in your medical practice. You sometimes sense that God has spoken to you or whispered something to you. Yes. uh, I honestly believe I couldn't have gotten through medical school or or practice as a physician without the Holy Spirit. I, I really don't know how people do it who aren't believers because it's every day is a big challenge and mm-hmm. I just don't have the mental faculties to be able to pull it off on my own. So I've, I've really learned to be dependent on God. And um, I do, I, I definitely know he prompts me and I ask him to prompt me and to help me identify uh, what my patients need. And it's not infrequent that I'll call a patient or ask them about something and they say, I know it was the Lord that prompted you to do that because that was Mm. something I really needed right now. Um, So I have many believing patients and I enjoy hearing about their miracles and their uh, stories as well. Um, So that's kind of gotten woven into your daily professional life too. That's neat. 
Uh, you shared a story over in Egypt on one of our mission trips. You gave a word of witness about a time that God ministered to you. This too has become part of your inch by inch stepping up in awareness of God and the Spirit's presence. But recall that story. Well, I think uh, one of the things that the Holy Spirit really is to me um, is helper. And Jesus said he was sending us a advocate or a comforter or a helper. I know that word is translated lots of ways. And probably about four years ago, I was going through a very hard time at work. It was very emotionally stressful for me. There was one night we had all gone to bed and I think I was crying and upset and I was just needing that extra touch from God and just asking asking for his help and praying and, and reading the Bible. And there's lots of those times where he would give me a scripture to comfort me. But this night, um, in that moment, I heard music downstairs and I went down on the stairs and a song was playing uh, through the speakers and the speakers and the sound system were turned off because we had turned everything off and gone to bed for the night. But this song was playing. It was Matt Mayer, Lord, I Need You. And it was, it was coming out of the speakers. And I just sat there on the stairs and worshiped with the song. And then when the song ended, there was no more music. And I went back to bed and I just felt a lot of comfort in that song. And it was also a reminder to stay in dependence on him and to just every day, live it out, every minute, living out that I need him. I can't, I couldn't deal with this situation on my own. I really can't even deal with my day-to-day -day work on my own without his help. And it was interesting. The Lord played that song in the radio for me many, many, many times on the way to work. For two or three years after that happened, I would hear that song almost every morning. And I knew it was God reminding me that I do need him. And I need to live in dependence on his Holy Spirit uh, throughout my day. Neat, neat. Wow. I hope you have a chance to meet Matt Mayer someday and tell him the Holy Spirit plucked his song out of nowhere to minister to you. That's funny. Well, that I'm so grateful you're willing to share this because uh, sometimes it's harder to recognize the inch by inch growth than it is by uh, to be able to identify some quantum leap and and a lot of that comes together into a longer story that shows how so many of us grow in the presence and power of the spirit just here and there over time it takes a response of faith to acknowledge that that's what god's doing so thanks for sharing thanks